little over a month ago, Daily Carry Co. reached out to me and said, hey, can we send you something? And I'm like, sure, send me something. I did not expect a box filled with stuff. So we're going to unbox and see what the heck they have sent me. And my guess is that like 80% of this I'm going to be giving away, but I have no idea what's in this package. Let's go ahead and get started. Closure here. I did cut these three boxes just to save us a little bit of time. There's a lot of things here, but I did not check to see what's inside. So let's go ahead and start with the big boy, which is the, what the hell is that? What the heck is that? The RID serial number 032. Holy moly. That's a lot of titanium. Pretty sure it's titanium. I mean, it weighs a lot, so it might be steel, actually. Wow. Interesting. I need to learn more. So. Wow. Okay. That... That's not an EDC pry bar, let's put it that way. So, very, very cool. I, I, I don't know what to say. Um, would you EDC this is the question. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll make this like bonus points. Like, you get it if you can prove that you carry something like this, you know, all the time. I don't know. I'll, I'll play with the idea of that. But holy moly, that is a big pry tool. And uh, pretty heavy as well. Um, I think it's steel. I want to say it's steel. So that is a no joke pry tool slash uh, chisel. Okay. Wow. Okay. So if that's where we're going with this, this, this is going to get interesting real quick. Now what's in here? EDC pocket pal. No idea. No idea. Okay. 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 Interesting. Pocket pal, he says. Okay. Whoa, it's a pry tool, but kind of different. And of course, a bottle opener. What? I mean, I don't know how to feel about this. You guys let me know. What do you think? Is this something you would carry? I feel like the shape is really neat in that it could go into a credit card slot, but I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure... Um, what do I have here? Do I have something? No, I don't. Hold on one second. Aha, here we go. So this is essentially a credit card. The problem is it's a little bit long. And if they had trimmed it all the way down to the credit card shape, I think maybe it would have been a lot more interesting. But still pretty cool. Not sharp. Definitely chamfered on the edge. And, uh... Yeah, a pry tool bottle opener. Kind of on the big side. Very cool. And we're calling this what what was it called again? The pocket pal? Pocket pal. EDC pocket pal. Who's gonna EDC this? That's a question. That's the real question. Who's gonna EDC that? Very interesting indeed. Alright. I gotta say, they do some different things that I've never seen anyone else do. Now, ooh, okay, all right, all right. I'm in it. I'm with it. Yes, okay, yes. Now, this is something I'm for. I'm for this. I like the size. Ooh, I like the thickness. It's good. I am not a fan of nail-pulling notches in titanium pry tools. The flexibility of titanium is very, very low, and if there's not enough metal on either side it is likely to snap or break. It's not ideal to use for pulling nails. That being said, this is wider than a lot of those other options. So it might be okay. I like that there's a wider end here and a thinner end here. Reminds me a little bit of the approach that the Gerber Shard makes, but the Gerber Shard is junk and I've broken like six of them. They basically made a pot steel. This on the other hand is made of titanium. It's very, very light. And I am a huge, huge fan of this texturing. This, this, I, I would theoretically, I would potentially EDC that. So I like that. I like that a lot. So this one, what is this one called? I pulled it out of the bag. 
This one is called the Handy Pry. Okay, cool. Liking it so far. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. I'm not sure what that is. Six, seven tie picks. Now, the thing is, is these are titanium picks that can go in a keychain. They're basically invisible. I find them probably a little bit more useful as SIM card extraction tools and uh, just poking, you know, pokey bits. It's very, very strong tip. You know, I'm just going to open one of them. In fact, I gave one away, so this will be perfect. I can actually have a replacement. Try not to do that. I have a knife on me. All right. All right. And then, uh, let's see. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh, they're black. Oh, I've never seen a black one. That's cool. So I had one that was plain titanium. This actually looks like a... Ooh. Oh, yeah. I'm for it. I'm for it. So there you go. So I'm not sure... I'm super enthused. I, I've done it, I will admit. I've done it, but I'm not so sure I would want to put something titanium on my teeth because titanium is actually harder than the enamel on your teeth. It is not something you want to actually scratch your enamel off with. So if you'd use it, just be careful not to actually push the tip against the enamel, right? You want to use it in between. Get the idea? But for me, it's really, really good at all of the things that you need to kind of scrape something out, you know, remove nasty bits inside earpieces, that kind of stuff. So really cool. And it's it's the black coloration. That's really neat. Is there some different ones? So this is black. This is regular. Okay, so it's kind of a mix of the two. So really cool. I'm going to be giving away all six of those. I'm going to keep the black one for myself. I like that one. So we're going to definitely keep that. But really, really cool. Scan if you like free stuff. All right, well, there you go. If you like free stuff, scan that, I guess. All of these kind of have that. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. You guys will have to let me know. Maybe I'll post a picture after this video on the community section with all these scan codes. I wonder if they're the same. I think they look, they look like identical codes. So, yeah, maybe it's like a giveaway or something like that. All right, so tie toothpicks. Got those. Now, what do we got in this these pouches here. Let's go ahead and open those up. Oh, and some more washers in those packages as well. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. Nice little leather wallet. Oh, it's one of those that pull up. It's a pull up wallet. Where's that card? Here we go. And then if I pull that up, it does. It pulls the cards out. That's nice. I like that a lot and it's clips and buttons right there very nice I like that nice and slim you know it's funny though being as slim as it is the button is the thickest part but uh, yeah I think someone's gonna really enjoy this God knows I have a lot of wallets so I think these are perfect for a future giveaway and I would assume that this is the same thing in black nice very nice and what color is this Oh, I like this. Okay, so this is this is very nice. I think I'm going to end up saving this uh, as a gift for someone in my family. I really like this coloration. I like it a lot more than the blue or the black. That is very classy. Very, very classy. Well done. Well done. So yeah, that one. I think I'm going to keep that one for the family members. And I... The last thing was the whistle, I think. We got two of them here. I've never tried, I've never seen it. So I don't know what it looks like. Let's take a look. Oh, it's very small. Oh, I like it. Very clean. And once again, I'm gonna keep one of these and I'm gonna give it to my eight-year-old daughter on her keychain. So I think that everyone should have a whistle on them, especially kids, if they're feeling scared they're feeling like they're by themselves having something like a whistle is much more effective than screaming and uh yeah my daughter knows all about that she's unfortunately practiced it in the house with these whistles 
but uh, yeah, really, really nice. Now, I'm sure it's going to drop the volume a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and test this and see how good it is. Well, the real thing that it, that it tells me is I didn't have to blow very hard to get a nice tone. So well done there. They've done the geometry correctly. And I like how clean that is. I really, really do. Well done. Single piece with that lanyard hole. That's going to be really tough. Wait, what did they do there? Is it actually? No, no, it's two pieces. I was going to say that would be insane. Wait, is it? No, did they did they really? No, 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 it had to be two pieces. How else would they do that, right? Anyway, really impressive job with these whistles. One we're definitely going to be giving away. And so I think we'll do a uh, Daily Carry Co. giveaway in the near future with all of these pry tools and a whistle and a wallet and a uh, thing. So we'll do one of, one of everything in that giveaway, don't worry. As I've been saying a lot lately, I will let everyone know on maxleveledc.com when those go live. And uh, of course, I will be posting it in the community section on YouTube as well. Anyway, thanks for sharing this unboxing experience with me. And uh, we'll talk again soon.